Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the San Diego Padres. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport, Fernando Tatis Jr. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I and mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year as evidenced by that inflated whip, but he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor, and we'll watch how he works in this one. And here it comes. There's the strike. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And a ground ball to first. He steps on the bag. One up, one down. Here's the lineup for the Reds. This is one of the best teams in the league when it comes to drawing walks, Chris, so we'll probably see a very patient approach from them. Yeah, Boogie, that's often uh, what leads to a lot of runs scored. You get guys on base, you work that pitch count up for the opposing pitchers, and then you take advantage when they make mistakes, you get into that bullpen. You can tell that everyone up and down this lineup just comes in with a great plan of attack, a lot of patience, just like you said. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Yeah. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. In now for the Reds, Spencer Steer. Wouldn't That's chase that down. time. Steer in his second season, hitting third in the lineup, and he was a third round pick back in 2019. The pitch. Headed towards the corner. Wade sizing this one up. And that is that. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Back here at Petco Park. And on the hill today, Nick Lodolo. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The why to kick the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Bogarts stands at second with no outs. Swings yeah. through that one for strike two. 
I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. And it's second. That one missing inside. And that's oh. down and away. A really good take, especially okay. two strikes. Jake Cronenworth in the San Diego on deck circle. Runner at second, nobody out. Tatis waits. Got him swinging. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate. Barely hitting over the Mendoza yeah. line this month. That pitch clips the outside oh, corner. Going away. Runner at second here, one gone. And it's one and one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One and two, the count. One and two here, and two, another two. ball. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Brings it in, and there are two down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, one guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jerickson Profar. Yeah, Boog, and he's been just clutch for this team so far in the series. Five runs batted in to this point. You know, guys like him who can just slow the game down, quiet the nerves when their runners on base or pressure situations, they're as valuable as it gets. We'll see if he keeps making an impact today. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Two outs, and that's a little bit high. And the count even one and one. Inside just missed. Man on second, two down. I just feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Ha Sung Kim to bat next. The 3-1. Profar gets a piece there. Runner at second, two down. Good plate okay. appearance there. Able to take the walk. That is good. That's good time. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. And there's the strike. Oh and one. Ground ball right side. And that one handled in plenty of time to first. That's out number three. Padres leave a pair. We played an inning. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Christian Encarnacion Strand. 
Vasquez back to work. Right through there for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Tatis after it. He's there. He's got it. One away. Nick Martini, the next to hit for the Reds. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Just no, off the outside out. edge. Ball one. And another ball. Two and out. Next offering is in for a strike. Ball tied up here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Now all lead it up. Goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Jonathan India at the plate. It's 0-1. Good eye That's right the there. No score here in the second. That one hammered left field back there. To the warning track makes the catch. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. San Diego and now Luis Campusano and a pitch not even close there and it's one to know on the ground to third that's one out the bottom of the second well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now batting Tyler Wade. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Not one close out. with that one. Ball one. A base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. So up next, Eggy Rosario. Now snap throw to first. And he's just back in. Oh, close play. Looked like no, it was a little up. bit up. The one on. Nope. Ball. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. First and second, one out. Jose Azokar, the next up for the Padres. Late swing fouled off. 
at the dish looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot anything but the inning inning double play bird that one finds the corner that is strike two with the go ahead run standing at second bottom half of inning number two just the off the outside edge going to count one and two Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Hard ground ball for base stop. Around third. Fires to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. Comes through with the RBI. Pretty tough for the infielder to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Here's Xander Bogarts. Let off this game with a double. And the first offering is not close. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Tough spot right here. A couple two runners ball, no on. Strike. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Double play ball to second. There's one. And that's two. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's an early one nothing lead. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Top half of the third inning. Now batting Jamer Candelario. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. No outs. Runner at first. Santiago Espinal, the next to hit. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. With the go-ahead run at the plate, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. That one ripped, and that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Luke Maley stands in here, takes ball one low. And the 1 0. Right. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. So the tying run is second. Ball. And that one fouled off. 2-2 Two -two now. Full count. In the dirt. The tag at third, oh, and he's out. out. Well, you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base paths, but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions. And right there, you couldn't really tell how far away that ball was. So if that's the case, you got to shut it down. It gets caught stealing there, takes himself out of scoring position. They 
Fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Oh. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Benson in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And the pitch. Runners on the move. Down the line. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Espinal on second. Maley over at first. So going away. On the ground. Could be two. Bogarts. Flips to second. Over to first. Safe. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Ellie De La Cruz digs in now. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go One ahead and, and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Runners on first and third, two away. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. The run scores from third, we're tied at one. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. Next for Cincinnati, Spencer Steer. One ball, no strike. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. First and second, two down. Off the plate, now 2-0. Inside corner for a strike. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Two on, two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a right-hander deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And another ball. Christian Encarnacion Strand. Getting on deck circle. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. Here comes the throw. Time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. Well done. Drives in the run. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So first and second with two outs. Now here is Christian Encarnacion Strand. Lifted in the air right center field. Tatis makes the grab on the run. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Reds two and the Padres one. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning. We're now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Well, oh, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot.
Yeah, that's that a little miss, high. That's yeah, that's Five. outside. Three and one of them. Jake Cronenworth up next. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Fights it off. He'll see another. That's the third. Can't let it cleanly. He decides to eat it, and they come away without a doubt. Man, that was a pretty good battle with the play, and I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Swings through it for strike one. To first, and he breaks for second. To second, and he's out. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Brings it in, and it's two down. Well, off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run on base, maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Jerickson Profar. He reached out a walk his first time. There's the sinker at the knees for a strike. Right through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. That's the third. Candelario tosses across the first, and the inning is over. Fielder, Nick Martini. Nick Martini. The wind of the pitch. High fly ball out towards left field. Wade reaching back towards the wall. Forget it. Well, he did a really nice job of letting that ball travel. Wasn't too quick. He kept the shoulder square to home plate, which allows you to drive the ball to the opposite field with power. We see the power and the authority, and fortunately, he's lucky enough to keep it fair. Next to hit, Jonathan India. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And yeah, they'll do it again. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Nobody on, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. Just nope. misses oh. with that one. It's a good take. And that two. skips in the dirt. The pitch. Swings and misses. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. 
Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. One out, base is empty. Bounced out to short. Throw to first oh. is in time. Now it's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. Singled and scored his first time. Just no missed. Admin. One and oh. That one almost got him. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Next pitch is outside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And that's ball four. Ball four. Take your base. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Swing it a foul straight back. Right through there for a strike. That one to first, finds its way through base hit, fires it to the plate, and he's out. Up down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Back here at Petco Park, bottom of the fourth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. Now this is in the air down the line. Martini on the move. He's got it. And there's one away. Up next to the Padres, the catcher, Luis. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Just no, missed. Ball. And a good that's eye the ball, there. That's down. One down, base is empty. That's in there. Two balls and a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 change up call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Fastball and it gets out of the way. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking and make sure that they don't get any confidence. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. 
Tyler Wade the next up for the Padres in there for strike one two down nobody on and that is in for a strike and it's nothing in two on its way to the corner and no one could get to it it's a foul ball left hand hitter waits foul ball still 0 and 2 two outs gets a piece there we'll do it again the 0 2 that one no, that just miss, misses Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Padres down in order. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Back here in San Diego, top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Ellie De La Cruz. Vasquez back to work and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter and that's in the dirt right-hander kicks deals so a foul ball makes it one and two And the righty deals. Off Ball. the mark there. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. That's a laser base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll That's see if they try That's to get him inside. into motion. Steer stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Rudder at first with no outs here. So two, two balls no, and no strikes. And a pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Kicks and fires. And that's, that's the off the inside edge. Count and the count's full. Hey! That one 95 to finish him off. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Encarnacion Strand. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Activity in the bullpen for the Padres. Steven Kolek appears to be getting loose. Cosgrove warming up as well. Vasquez with a move to first. Back in there standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is one and one. And a base hit right there. Lead runner around second. The throw to third, and he's out. 
Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. So, man aboard, Nick Martini will hit next. In there, and it's 0-1. Gets him to chase after that one. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. And he deals. Bounce to the right side. On to first. And that'll do it. Reds leave one, but they still lead it 3-1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Eggy Rosario. Here comes a pitch. And there's a ball. 1-0. Wouldn't chase that time. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And in one hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Next for the Padres, Jose Azucar. Fastball in for a strike, 0-1. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tying run at the plate. And that one fouled off. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. And here comes David Bell as he's ready to make the change. Go to his bullpen. Nick Lodolo gives way, and he leaves a runner at third. So we'll see how the next pitch when we get back. Alexis Diaz gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And here is Xander Bogarts, one for two. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air, look for the right pitch up, and then smoke it. First ball, offering misses strike. badly for ball one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Hit hard, trip the extra bases. In to score is the runner from third. It's 3-2. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Big time at bat right there. Comes through and they're back within a run. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke the line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. So, man, aboard one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. First no, pitch didn't. doesn't find the zone. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One and one.
And it skips into there. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. The 2 1. On the ground to first. And Cardacion Strand fires over to first. And they take care of Tatis for the out. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their key. Cronenworth in the box now, takes strike one. They're down to their final strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. This could end it. In there. Got him looking for the K. And this one is over with the tying run stranded just 90 feet away. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.